Hello, my beautiful planty people, and how are you today? I hope you are lovely. I hope you are well and healthy and happy. Um, for those of you who are new, hi. My name is Nikki. This is my channel, Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. And for you gluttons for punishment that keep coming back for more, welcome back. It is so awesome to have you back here. I appreciate you so much. Okay. <laughs> Um, so before I get started here, I will say if you do like this video and my content, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you really like my content and you like my weird quirky <laughs> personality, please consider subscribing. It is a huge help to my channel and I really do appreciate it. Additionally, please feel free to share any of my videos with, you know, your mom or your brother or your dog. Anyway, <laughs> it's a really great help. Um, and um, it is for all of the YouTubers that you like to watch. Uh, sharing their content is what a, uh, an amazing way for you to help them and support all of the creators that you love. Okay, enough of preachy preachy. So today you are here to see my top five favorite Hoyas. Now I haven't had Hoyas on my channel in a while and I figured we were due. We were due to have some Hoyas. Um, <clears throat> So you haven't seen any of my Hoyas, with the exception of my plant tour, since my uh, complete Hoya collection video. And so today I'm going to show you my top five favorite Hoyas. And let me tell you, it was really difficult to choose just five. <laughs> but I managed to do it. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to stick around and watch, then please stick around and watch. Okay? Okay, let's just go ahead and jump right in and get this kicked off. Now, it was difficult enough for me to choose five, so there's no way that I was gonna be able to actually rank them one through five. So this is in no particular order at all. Okay, so let's start. So plant number one, or Hoya number one is, oh goodness, he's just hanging on everything, is my Hoya Matilde. This plant is amazing. It grows like crazy. Let me just give you a little close up there of these super cute little leaves. Um, I absolutely love this plant. It is very rewarding. It grows really fast and it is just adorable. These leaves are super splashy. Look at those leaves. So soups cute. And it's just amazing. This guy has been a trooper. I have not had an iota of an issue with it. And um, it hasn't bloomed yet. It's threatened to bloom. We've had little peduncles here, um, but nothing has come of them as of yet. Uh, but it is an amazingly easy to take care of, a ho care of Hoya. And I definitely recommend it. Um, even as like a first time Hoya, like if you're buying your first one, this is a great option um, because it's easy, because it's rewarding, it's fast growing. Um, this was probably one of my first ones with the exception of my queen and my princess. Um, but yeah, highly recommend, amazing Hoya. Too enthusiastic, thumbs up. <laughs> and that is Hoya number one, my Hoya Matilde. Okay. Let's move on to plant number two. Plant number two is probably self-explanatory. <laughs> um, but this plant is my Hoya Australis Lisa. And this is such a cool plant. This is the variegated Hoya Australis. It is super gorgeous. It is tall. <laughs> Um, now this one's really cool. Uh, you can kind of tell on this leaf right, oh, hold on, right here. There's some pink there. But when these new leaves come in, if it's in a nice light, they come in this crazy, like crimson color. It is beautiful. Um, if I can find a photo, I'll insert it here of what the leaves look like when they first come in. They are so pretty. Um, this has been another extremely easygoing Hoya. I haven't had a second's issue with it. Um, it's grown really well. It's a very rewarding plant. Um, it's not it's not a crazy fast grower, but it does grow faster than 
the majority of Hoyas that I do have. Um, anyway, it's beautiful. It's variegated. Need I say more? And I just absolutely love this plant. So this plant I actually got from Paula and it was just teeny tiny. It was probably about here. It had maybe four or five leaves and um, that was less than a year ago and this is how much it's grown. So amazing, amazing Hoya option. Definitely super easy. So that's another one that I would recommend. If you can get your hands on one of these, they're a little bit trickier to come by. Um, but if you can find one, definitely grab it up. Definitely worth it. And I just love her to bitty bits. So that is plant number two, my Hoya Australis Lisa. Okay, Hoya number three on my top five favorite Hoyas is definitely this guy. Um, when I unboxed this from Crystal Star Nursery, if you saw that video, if you didn't, I will try to remember to link it up here. Um, I was so excited. These leaves are super, super chunky. And I was like, mm, I still want to just bite them. But they're absolutely gorgeous. Look at the leaf. They are beautiful. They have this gorgeous little, I don't even want to call it a margin because it's really not. But the sides, because it's so thick, have this dark rim. They're just beautiful. Um, really, really robust plant. Um, it has grown really well for me. Um, they don't throw out a whole lot of leaves. They're not super fast growing, not like the Matilde, um, but definitely worth it when they do. So this is its newest full grown leaf. And then it's got this little guy growing in right here. And then we have a whole new little stem growing right here. Just an absolutely wonderful Hoya. Um, you don't come by them very often. I was really lucky to get my hands on this one. Um, but if you can find it, I definitely recommend picking it up. It is so easy. This thing is so low maintenance and I absolutely love it. So that is plant number three. <laughs> that was four and this is learn how to work your fingers. Uh, so that is my plant number three, my Hoya Isensis. So pretty. Okay, plant number four, Hoya number four is definitely this beautiful gal. This is my variegated Hoya Bella. And right now she's extra special because she is blooming. Let's see if I can show you those. Look at those gorgeous blooms. They are beautiful. And she also has ones over here that she's working on, a little peduncle. Soup's cute. Um, I have taken a couple cuttings off of this plant and she is still doing like super well. Uh, they're not the easiest to get your hands on, but I find that they grow extremely quickly. So even if you can find a cutting of these, um, definitely grab it. It is so worth it. The blooms are beautiful. They, they don't smell really strongly, but they do have a nice faint kind of florally citrusy smell really really pretty so there's not much else to say except I love this plant I find it low maintenance and it's absolutely beautiful so that is plant number four my variegated Hoya Bella and plant number five this might be my favorite actually this might actually be number one <laughs> I think this is the only one that I'm just like super crazy obsessed with and that is my Hoya Viola. I love Hoyas with big chonky leaves um, and veining and speckling, but these leaves are just amazing. Let me just give you, look at that leaf. The veins, the speckles, and it's massive. It's like the palm of my hand, bigger than the palm of my hand. It is gorgeous. This plant grows quite quickly. Um, you can see that it's got, when I got it, it had this leaf, this leaf, and this leaf, I believe. And then, so this one, this one, this one, and this one have grown in my care. There's the two newest leaves there. Super beautiful. Um, 
Now I know there's like some people that like the dainty little Hoyas with the small cute little leaves uh, like the Bella and the Curtisii and um, the Matilde and then there is definitely a group of people who like the big chunky veiny leaves and I am definitely fitting into the latter category. Um, I mean, <laughs> really? <laughs> anyway, absolutely love this Hoya, super easy. I've never had an ounce of an issue with it. It grows really fast. Um, it's grown in higher light, it's grown in lower light, and it's just, it's just like, just happy to be here. It's like my dog. He's half golden retriever and half poodle, which makes him an amazing family dog. And it doesn't matter where he is, he's just happy to be where you are. He's just happy to be here. Anyway, <laughs> so, this is like the the golden doodle plant. It's just happy to be here and it's amazing. So I love it. If you can get your hands on it, do it. You don't see them very often, at least not up here. Um, but if you happen to run across one, even a cutting, again, it grows really fast and it's definitely worth it. So that is plant number five, my Hoya Viola. And I'm in love with it. Okay. <laughs> Such a nerd. Anywho, so that was my top five favorite Hoyas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. There's just one, something like this. <laughs> this is Nintendo. Anyway, um, if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It is a huge help to my channel and I really do appreciate it. Um, we are slowly climbing up on 5,000 subscribers and I am over the moon happy. Um, and I'm just, I'm just excited and I'm grateful literally for every single one of you. And uh, thank you so much. You don't have to spend your time sitting here listening to me ramble, but you do. And your time is precious. And I definitely appreciate you hanging out with me. So I won't go on a Nikki tangent. I will just wrap it up by saying that I would like you to all have a great day, night, week, month, and year. And remember, I love you all to bitty bits. And I'll see you in the next one. Mwah!